Next, over to Bucktown to visit chef owner Stephanie Eisard, who has a hands-down winner at Scylla. Stephanie's stints at the best restaurants in town have culminated at this marvelous new restaurant. Well, we're here at North Damon Avenue at a wonderful restaurant uh, with Chef Stephanie Izard, uh, who is named after a... Mountain goat. Mountain goat, <laughs> and named a restaurant after an evil sea monster. W what's the deal there? Yeah, she was um, actually a beautiful nymph, and she was. this man was in love with her, and the sea sorcerer was in love with the man. A whole long love saga it turned out um, the sorcerer made her into an evil sea monster in the Mediterranean. So we thought sea monster, seafood, Mediterranean. Okay. Kind of okay. <laughs> well, you've worked, you know, with some great chefs like Sean McLean, and you've been in Bong. And in your course of learning all of this, did you bring any of those ideas with you? And tell me what you did here. Um, I think I worked with a lot of seafood at Spring. I mean, of course, Sean is one of the greatest creators of seafood dishes in the city, I'm sure. Um, so that's where I learned a lot about fish. And then when I was at La Tache, which was my last job, I learned a lot about French cuisine. Um, so rather than going the Asian route or fusion, we kind of try to do French and Italian, um, take classic techniques from those places, as well as classic flavors, but show them in a different way you might not have seen it before. Okay. Combine flavors that you might not have thought of to put together. Shrimp sandwich, or what is that? This is our lobster um, profiterole. A profiterole is a classic French dessert, actually, which you'll see that in some of our dishes. We combine dessert techniques into our savory. Um, classically, it would have a scoop of ice cream and chocolate sauce, but here we have it filled with lobster, a little bit of basil cream, and there's also underneath a quince puree. So it's nice and seasonal with the quince. Um, and we serve it alongside a endive and watercress salad with fresh mozzarella and a light basil vinaigrette. Hey, so the flavor of the basil and the quince really go to what the go together nicely. The purpose of having the food out here is basically for me to try it. Ooh. Yep, kind of got to just pop it all in there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's really good. None got out of me. It's okay. <laughs> wow, that was great. Um, the quince. No. Quince is good. Um, do we want to move on to the... Sure. This is um, our escargot appetizer. Right now, figs are still in season, luckily. Um, so we have these served in brown turkey figs. Inside the fig, there's a little bit of fennel and smoked tomato. We top it with some brown butter. And then, as you'll see again, a pastry technique on the side is a savory fennel brulee, and it's all topped with a little bit of goat's feta. So you have to try a bite of that, because that's all right. Of, well, it's all good, but. So you wouldn't pick these out. I try to pick it out with my finger. Yeah, I would probably just stick your fork right into it. Now tell me what this fennel, I like the fennel in there. It's a, uh, basically we take a, f a creme brulee base and infuse it with fennel bulb and a little bit of fennel seed and a little bit of anisette mm. liqueur. It's just a really, again, like interesting flavors you might not have thought of. I never had that, but that, that's really neat. Thanks. <laughs> I just thought these two appetizers show kind of the different type of things we try to do. I've made a mess out of myself. I'm yes, already. <laughs> All right. Um, um, so we can go ahead. <laughs> okay, this is one of our entrees. Right now we're serving, it's very seasonal. We have um, diver scallops served atop of a pumpkin puree. Great month for pumpkins. Um, there's a little bit of pumpkin seed, um, as well as mushrooms and kale. It's just a nice flavor combination. We top it with a little tobiko cream. Now. I've never seen any of these dishes at any of the restaurants. You've created most of these these combinations. Yes. Pretty neat. It's kind of. So you're you're young, and this is your first restaurant. Yes. Are you happy with the way it's working? I mean, you've got uh, like great reviews. Every everybody loves it. Yeah, it's going really well. It's exciting. Each day is a new a new challenge, <laughs> but it's definitely fun. I met her about a week before. You opened the restaurant. All right, yes. I walked in here. And I don't know, is that your sous chef or your sister you were with? Probably my sister. I felt so bad for her. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh, so much to do. <laughs> she was going to open in a week and there was like plaster and dust. <laughs> well, they hadn't put the lights in yet. <laughs> it was like, so. and I'm talking to her and I went, wow, <laughs> good luck. <laughs> but it all came together about a day before we opened. They hung up the last lights, so yeah, yeah I had yeah. my fingers crossed. It, it's pretty neat when you like 
put all the stuff on a Christmas tree and it's like take it all for and you plug it in everywhere. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> That's exactly how it was. So following our seafood here. This is our, I also like to combine um, seafood with meats. Kind of like a spin off your classic surf and turf, but rather than having side by side, putting them together. So here we have grilled sturgeon with pork belly. Um, it goes really nicely together. And the liquid that for the sauce is the braising liquid for the pork belly. We cure it for a couple of days and then braise it and then crisp it up to order. Pork and sturgeon, good mm. for you. And there's also a little bit of pink peppercorn and maple. It's rocking. Of course, a little dessert for us here. Yes, this is created by my pastry chef, Jessie. She's fabulous. This is sort of a spin on a classic pumpkin pie. Underneath, there's a little bit of a pumpkin puree, and it's topped with a maple custard that's then brulee, and it's served with chai ice cream from chai tea. So it's a nice flavor combination. She tries to use some savory in her pastries to kind of counterpart what I'm doing in the savory. Side, so. so how many, see you got upstairs, so like little, it could be a dining room or a private party room, how many Yeah, we use old? it as a dining room, we have 30 seats upstairs, and then the downstairs is a little smaller. Pretty neat, I mean you're right next to La Bouchon, which has been a mainstay. In the For over 20 years. Yeah, well hey, so. uh, before I toast to you and your good health and continued success, look at that camera and say, hey, here I am, and give me your phone number and address when you're open. Hey, here I am at Scylla. We're at 1952 North Damon. We're open Tuesday through Sunday for dinner from 5.30 until 10 o'clock. Our phone number is 773-227-2995. So call us, make a reservation. Cheers. Say quiz. <laughs>